Okay, in this video I want to talk about the Nernst equation and solve a couple problems using it. So, the first thing I want to recall is that this is the Nernst equation here. It's the equilibrium potential is equal to 58 over Z times the log of the concentration outside over the concentration inside. So, the concentration of a particular ion outside over the concentration of that ion inside the cell. Okay, so this equilibrium potential can be for I don't know, any of these, Cl, chloride, sodium, potassium, calcium, whatever. Um, any of those would be fine. And Z on the bottom here is equal to whatever the charge is on a particular ion. So in this case, negative 1, plus 1 for sodium, plus 1 for potassium, plus 2 for calcium. And maybe I didn't clearly define what the nurse potential actually is. Uh, here's kind of a definition of it. Um, the nurse potential is the membrane potential at which there is no net flow of a particular ion from one side of the membrane to the other. So there's no net movement at this point. That's why it's called equilibrium or the equilibrium potential. Okay. So with that said and that background information taken care of, I'll show the problem here. So it's a bit long-winded, but we'll take a look at it. So it says, let's start with some concentration cell semi-permeable membrane problems. Suppose you have two solutions of NaCl. So I have two solutions of NaCl. The solution on the outside of a semi-permeable membrane is at a concentration of 648 millimoles for both Na plus and Cl minus. And the concentration on the inside of the semi-permeable membrane is at a concentration of 25 millimoles. Um, if the membrane is only permeable to Na plus, what will the equilibrium potential or nurse potential for Na plus be in the system? Okay, the first thing I would do is figure out what my concentrations are inside and outside. So I would go back into the problem and I would say, okay, it says that the concentration of 648 millimoles is outside. So I would just simply write that down on my paper. So I would say outside is equal to 648 millimoles and that's for both Na plus and Cl minus. Okay, and the solution on the inside of the semi-permeable membrane is at a concentration of 25 millimoles. So inside is equal to 25 millimoles. Okay. Now, basically, this is just a real plug and chug problem. I mean, now that I have those things, I can simply just use this and use my little key over here and see that Na or sodium is plus one, so this Z is just plus one. It really doesn't make a difference. And I'll simply plug that into the equation. So E for Na is equal to 58 over plus one and times the log of, well the concentration over here is 648 millimoles outside and 25 millimoles inside. Okay? So remember why I did that because the, it's the concentration of the ion outside the semi-permeable membrane over the concentration inside the semi-permeable membrane. So that's why this is set up the way that it is. So, I mean, you know, you'll likely be able to use a calculator in a lot of these problems so I would just simply bring this calculator up here and say alright so the answer is 58 where's my log button it's a log of 648 over 25 and that gives us about 82 plus 82 millivolts okay so the equilibrium potential for Na is equal to plus 82 millivolts. And that would be your answer for the first part of the question. So the first part of the question asks for just the equilibrium potential for sodium. So at this point, at this, at this membrane potential, 82 millivolts, that's when there's going to be no, no net movement of Na plus, or of Na plus or sodium across the semi-permeable membrane at that point. So when the membrane potential equals plus 82, no net movement of sodium. Now, there's a part B to the question, so let's take a look at that. 
and it says if the membrane is permeable to only Na plus okay where am I here okay remember the convention is to use the outside of the membrane as a reference or ground so what would be the equilibrium what would the equilibrium potential be if the membrane were only permeable to Cl minus okay so if it's only permeable to Cl minus they're asking us to do essentially the same thing we just did with Na only now we're going to use only chloride so I'm going to use the same equation. Now I'm just going to say E for Cl is equal to 58. Now this is where you got to be careful because remember the Z value for chloride is actually minus 1 up here. Okay, So it's minus 1. Plug the minus 1 in there and multiply that by the log. And if we look at the problem again, it says here that this is the concentration outside for both Na plus and Cl minus. So it's the exact same numbers. So we end up plugging in the exact same numbers. So 648 millimoles over 25 millimoles. And then I can say the equilibrium potential for Cl is equal to. I just plug in those exact same things. So 58 divided by negative 1 and that's going to be multiplied by the log of 648 over 25 and essentially you could have guessed probably without doing this that because those numbers are the same and the only difference we had here was this negative 1 was that this is going to be the exact same value as it is for sodium only with a negative charge so this will say so this will be negative 82 millivolts. Okay, so negative 82 millivolts. There'll be no net movement of um, Cl or chloride across the semi-permeable membrane.